This episode four of the Penguin. Sophia Falcone's backstory. What did you think, bro? I think it took forever, but when I finally got to it, it was fire. I agree. I I just feel like it was like a a dragged out slow burn, but I thought they kept it interesting enough with you know just like the the storytelling of how grimy falcone is then just the whole situation you know he put her through then her transition going through the asylum and then it's just like almost like she was just like one of those goody goody kind of people and then this her family was just shitting on her throughout yeah this show was mostly they wanted you to see how she felt like what she went through her point of view of the arkham asylum but it was a very very tough ride for her like What what was it that they they was doing to her? They was giving her electric electric yeah, like shock electro, therapy. Yeah, it could be shock or electrotherapy, but yeah, yeah basically yeah. frying her brain. So it's like what, like how could you even be surprised? The 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 tragedy and the trauma that she's going through. So of course she's gonna be psycho and crazy. Of course she's gonna snap, and you know it's just like one of those like you know she looks like. I don't know. She looks innocent, but when you look at her eyes, you see psycho bitch. I'm sorry. The, the crazy thing is that they did that. She wasn't yeah. like that. She, she was, was trying to help. She wasn't like that. Putting her in Arkham, making her fight for her life is what made her go crazy. <laughs> and and it was only just like an innocent daughter asking questions because, you know, what happened with her mother. And she was just asking questions of what happened to her mother, having assumptions. And it just looked really obvious that her father had something to do with it. So it was just like almost like, you know, she was just this innocent daughter. She loses her mother. She has these questions. And then she finds out that just by asking those simple questions of who killed her mom's, her father finds her to be an enemy and now he has to make her pay so it was like this is like one of those situations where you got this normal person that just tries their best to love their parents love their family and their family just completely shits on her well the father basically didn't trust her he, he rather sent her to arkham and kill her than to than to believe that she's not a snitch yep and it's yeah. like, bro, at the end of the day, it's like, bro, you still killed her mom. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, like it boils down to the, the evidence was there. When she got older to understand it, that's when she put it all together. And, you know, not to say too much detail, but just like what I was telling you, it's like, you know, it, it, yeah, it was a, a slow burn for the episode, but it's like almost predictable because, you know, like I was saying with the with the friend that she meets and stuff, it just like the little key points that even when they was discussing during the making of it that, you know, they wanted us to see to experience her transition from this innocent, you know, young daughter that just ends up becoming a person that just snaps and you see it you see her snap on her friend and you know it just gets ugly it's just crazy because you finally got to see what oz did to her and he really fucked up for that yeah yeah i mean they all the the the, her family oz so it's like it's almost like one of those episodes where like you know she's supposed to be seen as a villain but then now you're sympathizing with her because Mm -hmm. you know you're kind of like okay this is why she's crazy this is why let's mm-hmm. just use the phrase bat shit crazy she's yeah. bat shit crazy but bat shit crazy because they turned her that way so it's like mm-hmm. almost like you could feel sorry and kind of be behind her but then again it's like you know this is the penguin show so you want to see penguin come out winning too yeah that that's the bad thing when you start making good characters you want everybody to win but you can't yeah <laughs> cuz it's called the penguin show exactly and 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 you think about it is like yes there's like threats and there's uh you know the potential of somebody dying but come on realistically i don't think sophia's going anywhere and penguin's definitely not going anywhere so i don't see i just see that yeah they're going to be going at it they're going to have a war but we're talking about sophia falcone from the comics so yeah. Unless they trying to switch it up and change it up where, you know, later on in the series, he kills her. But why would you kill her early in the Bat universe that they're trying to build? Hey. So I don't get it. Hey. So it won't it won't happen. I don't think so. I really don't. 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah, in, in this you in the DC universe, anything can happen. Yeah, and I thought there was gonna really like. I thought it was gonna take the turn of the her being like a real psychopath that she's the yeah, hangman yeah. doing stuff. Maybe, maybe later on in episodes they they uh, probably yeah. show how much of a crazy hangman serial killer she is. But you know, her father, you know, yeah, put all that was, on her. Yeah, so it was like it was a total turnaround because you thought you going in in the episode thinking that she's the hangman, she's the psycho. But in reality, she just did a bid for no reason, yeah. for nothing. It's yeah. all for just asking questions. And you've seen it in the episode, even, you know, with the reporter. And she ended up defending her father, defending her family. Till the end, she just had that breaking point. Like, yo, why am I defending? Why am I trying to look out for these people that are my blood? And they just keep shitting on me over and over again. So Yeah, at the point that you write letters and shit... To claim a crazy family member, yeah, you 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 you, you don't want to ever be around them people like that. Yeah. It's like almost like with the world we live in now, with mm -hmm. how fake people are, where you know they could smile in your face and then they like stabbing you in your back, talking shit and just belittling and doing any kind of negativity right behind your back instead of in your face direct. So, yeah. same thing. How she just came in, you know, how she came into the room. They all look at her like, oh fuck. Is this that same scenario? That yeah. same feeling. But the crazy thing is that they all know that she didn't do it. So it's like, how can y'all? really sit there and look at her like she's the the psycho the, the and y'all know y'all all got cohorts to do that so yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna be real with you too i felt like i could relate to her in some kind of way in that situation because it's like well you know this is just like a personal thing you know has some friends felt like you know i did my best to try to be either the, the best friend that i could be and then you find out that you know they're the ones that's being fake they're the ones that's you know probably talking bringing behind your back don't have the guts so i already can relate to that type of situation when you walk into the room and they look like oh shit this person's here so i'm already used to being considered the bad guy at times yeah. for no, no reason so it was kind of relatable her character in the situation because you know what i mean the way she came into the room yeah. and they all looked at her That's just it. because they knew that she was innocent they still knew that she had the capabilities of, of flipping it and making it ugly or crazy so of course yeah we all villains to somebody's stories so exactly exactly That's all you can do. well another episode i recommend i mean you know it, it, it's hard to even rate these episodes to being bad because it's like all around they're just giving some pretty good storytelling you know, BS. Yeah, the drama it drags it's the drama. a little because it's a background shit but you know that's how your episode should be if, if you're telling the yeah, story they, they 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 know what they're doing and you know it looks interesting enough the way they're building the stories behind these characters now the yeah. batman that's another thing that you know we have to wait and see because i'm still yeah. on the fence on that one yeah because so. i like the penguin show more than the movies and stuff hopefully yeah. they get to that type of storytelling in, in the in the movies yeah we're like in the day and age where villains are, are are looking to be interesting cinema you know unlike you know the joker too that you know definitely well, yeah, we, we don't talk about that we don't talk about that yeah. <laughs> we don't no. talk about that <laughs> Yeah, that movie, yeah, that, that never existed. Exactly. Well, folks, you know, episode four, definitely recommend. Definitely I don't recommend. Need, I don't, you don't need my recommendation. The show is all <laughs> around good so far, and it looks like it's going to continue being good. <laughs> yeah. so. it, don't, it don't need no level today, no no rating. It, yeah, y'all should know it's, a, it's it's good. All right, folks, leave your comments in the section below what you think of episode four of The Penguin.